Welcome to the Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman, and today we are going to talk about temperature. I bet if you walked around your school, you would find something that measures the temperature. We use an invention called the thermometer to measure the temperature in the air. Most smartphones today even have a built-in thermometer or connected to a radio station that has thermometers. So I can check the weather right now. It is 91 degrees where I live, huh? But how does a thermometer work? The common today thermometers are filled with alcohol. Temperature in the air gets hotter. Ugh. The alcohol expands. But when the temperature in the air gets cooler... Ugh! Brr! The alcohol shrinks. So cold! However, when you're measuring temperature, people use two, two different, different scales. scales. First scale is the Fahrenheit scale. Founded by Gabriel Fahrenheit in 1714, the first person to use a mercury thermometer, the Fahrenheit scale was invented by taking the lowest point Gabriel could make at zero and the human body's average temperature at 100. The scale was then finalized so that water freezes at 32 degrees and water boils at 212 degrees. The second scale is the Celsius scale. Founded by Anders Celsius, a Swedish astronomer in 1742, the Celsius scale is more simple. He created a scale where water freezes at zero degrees and boils at 100 degrees. He called it the centigrade scale, but in 1948, this scale became the official scale of the metric system, and they named it the Celsius scale in his honor. In this graph, you can see how different the Celsius and Fahrenheit scales are. The Fahrenheit scale is not a common scale. If you live in the U.S., <sighs> it may seem common, but the U.S. is one of very few select countries that still use the Fahrenheit scale. Most of the world uses the Celsius scale. Like all of Asia, Africa, South America, Europe, and most of Canada and Mexico. So, the Fahrenheit scale is only used by a few islands in all the U.S. I hope you enjoyed learning about temperature. Everybody on our planet measures temperature so they know if they should wear a t-shirt or a jacket today. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.